Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaku and today we're gonna play another free horror game. This one's called The Heritage and if you wanna play it yourself, the link is in the description. I don't know much about this game. The only thing I know is your grandma died and you're in a creepy house or something. But let's find out together. Second year black. New game. Why is that we always yearn childhood memories when we lost someone? Why those memories become painful nightmares when we lost someone? That is how I'm feeling. Yearning those beautiful, I guess it should say beautiful, moments lived in her house. A woman so wise. Wisdom that has only kept in my memory after she passed away three days ago. It's time to abandon these confusing thoughts and return to the place, her house. So full of memories and knowledge, questions. Perhaps I will finally find inner peace. We'll find out. Okay. An old wooden clock seems to be broken. Press E to accept. Okay, let us accept that this clock is broken. So there's a table, dish, can't reach it, maybe now, okay, grandma's note, a note from my grandma, I should read it, maybe, then, I copied the text to my notebook, this is very strange, no needed, already in my notebook, whew, why can we take the dishes? <laughs> Does that make any sense? Does it make any sense? Maybe it will make us slower. That's not good. I don't feel quite fast. Whoa! Take it easy. You don't open the fridge like that. I can play CD and MP3. It has a radio too. But still, I'm not turning that on. Why not? A little music would be nice. Strange, it doesn't work. Kettle. Why do we take everything? That doesn't make sense. Yet. Countertop. Strange, it doesn't work. Are there two texts? Are there two layers of text? My grandmother My grandmother always loved when I helped her in the kitchen. Nope, nope, no. Just gonna investigate a little more. Iron bars? Are we in some kind of prison? I just got here. I want to meditate the loss and remember the moments I spent with her. That's better. What's that? It's her bedroom. Is that a TV? A pretty nice... T no, it's not! A pretty nice TV. I like to watch it while getting sleep. Clothes. We can't take these, but we can take the dishes. Nothing inside. Jewelry box. We're rich. Let's just close all this shit. Nice music. Oh! I forgot to accept. That was a problem. For 48th anniversary. It looks very creepy. Kalusa frame? Theodore Kalusa. She named him a few times along with Klein. It has to do with the space dimensions. Okay.
Oh, we can't... Oh, we can open everything. I can't reach it. Okay. See? Yes. <laughs> Great! Cutlery, forks, spoons, knives. Nothing unusual. These are more handy than the dishes. Nope. Some glasses. We can't move while we're crouched. A flashlight. Please, please, please give me the flashlight. Do we have an inventory? Okay, let's drop all these dishes. What the fuck is going on outside the inventory? Are they all floating in front of us? Nice. A bin. I'm very sorry, I'm not used to PC games, I'm more of a console game. Most of the time I play console games. Xbox, Playstation or, or Wii. My grand... Uh, we had that already. Oven. Can we open the oven? When she cooked, I could smell the delicious smell of food. door. A toilet and a bidet? I don't know if it has an English, a special English name, but in French and German it's a bidet. But mostly because Germans use the French word for it. I want to turn the light on, please. Toilet paper? Nope. Whew. I don't want to go upstairs. It's quite a mess in here. Outside, good. Let's take the flashlight. Nope. Can't use it like that. Pretty sure you use a flashlight. Whoa! The house isn't very big. Wooden door. A lock prevents me from opening the door. Washing machine? Unlike other washing machines, this one does not make much noise. Okay, very interesting. So let's go upstairs. A brick wall? That doesn't seem to fit there. Can jump? Just open every window. That looks pretty ugly. I remember and hated these chemistry books. Grandpa, no, Grandma helped me a lot studying chemistry for school. Grandma, Grandma was obsessed with how things work. Mm, hypercube? Kalusa. I remember Grandpa named Kalusa before, something about fifth dimension. We know that already. Chemistry, chemistry, Einstein. 
She always claimed him as the greatest genius of all time. And what about Nikola Tesla? Let's open every window, so no. That's not... We can't open that. Mystery of the Atom. Intriguing title. Indeed. Zeitgeist. Zeitgeist, the book. It's about conspiracies. History of the world. Four volumes about the world's history. Novel books. Oh, Ge Geography Atlas. Six volumes in total. Okay. Psychology. I guess these volumes explain our minds. Wizard. <laughs> Wizard Battle Dome? My grandmother used to read me these when I was just a little girl. Okay, we're a girl, so of course we know that from the title screen, but I didn't pay much attention to it. Anatomy, Enci An Anatomy Encyclopedia. Boring. Novel books. Books I had never heard of. Buddhism? Some books about Buddhism religion. Astronomy. Really interesting books about the universe. Oops. So it's... <laughs> I'm not sure about this wall. Open. Another bathroom. Nope, nope. Whoa! Okay. The chair was moving. I don't want to close the door. Laptop battery. I can't reach it, goddammit. So I guess we can find a laptop. More clothes. I don't know if it I don't know if it's really a scary game but it's it has an intense atmosphere. So let's leave the light on. I'm just lagging here. Oh, I've been stuck at the window. Now it's getting creepy. Let's take a look at the wall. This wall wasn't here the last time I visited my grandmother. I hope she's not in there. Nope. Oh, we can open it. Was the handle outside? I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's just close this door. We can't? Whoa! Kazula, help us! I don't think the key is... I don't think we have the key yet. So maybe... Can 
we open it? Thanks. What is going on? Maybe we can move this shelf? Nope. Is it the train? What is there to do? Maybe there is a loose brick or something. something <laughs> why am I carrying a bin good question so let's let's drop it that doesn't work yeah thanks So let's go out again. So let's go outside again. Sorry. No, 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 no. Did you hear that? Ah! Okay. Strange symbols. <sighs> Have we seen them before? We don't need a key, we need a combination. So maybe this clock? Maybe we should look in the journal, but where is it? Nope. A small bronze key? Huh? Did we have that before? What? Hmm. Ah, you gotta press N to look at the notes. <sighs> Beloved granddaughter, as you are reading this note, I'm dead by now. Please don't be sad and pay attention to what is written in this note. I had discovered something beyond imagination, indescribable to your senses and of your... indescribable to your senses and of your world. I left my will with notes and puzzles that will help you understand. Search the, search the clock for a key. Okay. 
So let's look at the clock. There's nothing else here. Okay, we have the key, but... For what is the key? Five minutes later. I'm just a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. We have a key and we have a jewelry box that is, I guess, locked. That doesn't work. Great. Use with jewelry box. You open the jewelry box. With a small bronze key, you found a note inside. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It took me so long. Can't use it. Blah, blah, blah. Jewelry box note. Look at the clock. Hour will tell you the row number from below to above and minutes, what book to read from left to right. Remember on the shelf to the right in the first floor. So we gotta take hour is the row and the minutes which book. Okay. <laughs> and which uh, shelf was it? The right. The right one. It's four five. Thanks. Hmm, hypercube. From the top or from the bottom? This appears to be the correct book. I copied the mark text on my notebook. Okay, let's read that. <coughs> Physics book. A point in space wouldn't cast any shadow. Then a line will cast a simple dot. A line would be the shadow of a square. Notice how a 3D object reflects a 2D shadow. Lastly, we can imagine how the shadow of a 4D object, 5D counting time as a dimension, being uh, the rest of the text is struck. And in a margin, a question mark is drawn. It would be a 3D shadow. So, something like a ghost? Maybe? Maybe this is a shadow of a 4D object. Great. Hmm. That doesn't work. What a surprise. Well, thanks for this information, but maybe we have to look at the image. Well, the painting. Space and dimensions. Nope, still nothing. Well...
Is the answer cube or hypercube? Let's take a look at the next book. It was on the bottom one. Hmm, hypercube. Well, it seems that it's not the correct answer. God damn it. Now it's bright enough. That's the solution for the lock riddle. Nothing at all. A dot. A line. A square. And a box. A cube. I solved it. Great. Let's take a look inside. Whoa. A lawnmower? A lawnmower? I can't reach it. A demolition hammer. Okay. Let's go to the wall. Or maybe we can just mow the lawn. There's a hidden basement. Okay. I guess that's the next riddle. <clears throat> I have no idea. So let's go to the wall. Are there any enemies or something in this game? This should work. Whoa! Hypercube. What the fuck? Another riddle, great. In the fifth dimension, time is perceived the same way that in the fourth dimension. That discards the possibility of entities can be reflected in the future but it is right to think they can see our past as reflections. Although, there's no way they can enter in them, just in our present. Also, there's no doubt they can see through objects. Or, in other words, they can see each side from an object without even rotating. The only thing they need to come here is concentrate energy so they can visualize a point in space-time reflect themselves. Obviously, the entity must be in a close distance to perceive the energy that will serve as a link. This, was, this will help understand better. Past, present... Okay... So, 